SpaceX and Elon Musk have unveiled a new fuel transfer tube for the V3 booster. Its graceful movements hint at a new dance for Starship and space. Let's explore this further in today's episode of NR Studio. The Starship base remains active as ever. Even after the problems with Flight 36, SpaceX is still moving forward and not slowing down. As work on Flight 10 continues apace, attention is slowly shifting to something far more significant. This new generation of hardware begins with a strange new structure that recently appeared in the factory. At first, the structure looked like a normal piece of equipment, but then it began to move. As the structure rose from a flat position to a standing position as it passed through the Mega Bay 2 door, it immediately caught everyone's attention. Its design, size, and location suggested it was likely part of the V3 upgrade for Super Heavy. Shortly after, SpaceX and Musk confirmed it. This long, thin tube is strong and has tight rings. It is the new fuel transfer tube, also known as the new fuel header tank for the V3 booster. SpaceX shared an official image of a canister attached to an unfinished booster, which many have mistaken for Booster 18. The size of the canister in the image is striking. It's nearly the same size as an entire Falcon 9 booster, which helps us understand just how large the Starship system really is. The canister is surrounded by support rings from top to bottom. These rings aren't just for show. They help keep the system safe from the intense pressures it will face during the fast flight phase. The canister is designed to transfer cryogenic methane fuel from the booster's main tank to its 33 Raptor engines. The canister doesn't just carry fuel. It's a crucial part of the system that helps the booster perform faster and more reliable flips, allowing all 33 Raptor engines to fire simultaneously during critical events like takeoff and boost back burns. The ability to fire multiple engines simultaneously provides more reserves and better control. It also reduces the risk of a staggered firing sequence, where a problem with one engine can cause imbalance or instability. Musk shared his thoughts on social media shortly after the images were released. In response to the comments, it was noted that the tube is larger than the fuel tanks on most operational rockets. Musk said the structure is actually more like a fuel header tank, not a transfer tube. He also emphasized the importance of this, highlighting the crucial nature of its construction. The tube has to be incredibly strong because it's going to be under enormous pressure and even a small leak can ruin everything. This statement highlights the technical significance of this upgrade. The thick ring around the tube is now more visible. The ring isn't just a support. It's needed to protect against the pressure, vibration, and shock during launch, reversal, and engine restart. Essentially, the fuel header must act like a muscle, flexible in movement, yet strong enough to operate consistently. At the same time, there are signs that Booster 18 is nearly fully assembled. Major components such as the tail section and auxiliary components have been delivered. Once the tube is installed, they will likely begin stacking to build the first complete Super Heavy V3. What's next? Watch for changes to all the booster's major components. The front section is expected to feature a new design for the lattice fins and hot staging joints. The rear section will feature improved engine piping and stronger struts for high thrust. All of this is in preparation for an improved booster. This new booster is designed not only for test flights, but also for routine and critical launches. The presence of the V3 transfer tube indicates that SpaceX is confidently entering the next phase. This isn't just an overhaul, it's a change. The Starship flight system design is being gradually revised. These internal improvements represent fundamental changes that will impact all future launches. Are you ready for what's next? If you can't wait to see Super Heavy V3 heading towards the launch tower, let us know by typing Let's Finish Booster V3 in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to stay updated on SpaceX developments as the future draws near. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one.